we are so excited <laughs> to bring a live cultural performance. And here she comes from comrade Fofit Alkebulan, Fofit Ushairi Alkebulan, an incredible Black power poet and member of the African People's Socialist Party and director of Project Black Ankh, the African nation's disaster preparedness and emergency response program. Comrades, I want to welcome up Comrade Fofit Uhuru. <laughs> no applause. <laughs> Uhuru, Uhuru, thank you so much, comrade. This is such a momentous time. And I am just pleased, pleased, pleased to be here and to offer a word or two. Um, how did I get my name? Four feet is how I hear poetry. I hear poetry with two feet on earth and two feet in spirit. When it comes to the mic, it is four feet deep. Thank you. Uh, the first piece I would like to read is, it's called Stolen People. These are copywritten by myself. I want to talk about stolen people. See, I'm a stolen African woman born on stolen indigenous land. Stolen family roots and, con and connections to Africa. Our dignity, pride, and and tra uh, traditions, along with our customs, practice, and medical cures, our skills, beliefs, our riches have been tainted. General humanity changed, challenged, and lies ripped away. Melanin makes us African, regardless to where we are born. Omali Yeshatella taught me we would not be here if they had not come there. He taught me about the colonial mode of production, a dependent relationship to keep Africa drained and the colonizers rich. To change this relationship is to free Africa and its people to be self Govern and self-reliant. Even free speech is not meant for stolen people. It's against the law for stolen people to be free. Colonialism is the cause. Revolution is the cure. I am a stolen woman, a stolen African woman, born on stolen indigenous land, and my DNA continuously continuously is under siege every day and everywhere we exist. Uhuru is Sasa for freedom. Uhuru is <laughs> Swahili for freedom. Sasa means now. Uhuru Sasa, Uhuru Sasa to all colonized people. Uhuru. That's the first piece. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You know, my phone is really trying to act crazy, but we got this too. The next piece is uh, a letter from grandma, not my grandma, but to my grandchildren. So in a letter to my grandchildren, there is no need for ancestry or 23 and me. Hello, babies of mine. It is a lesson from your grandma. See, I am a stolen African woman born on stolen indigenous land, and my DNA is under siege around the world. Words formed deep in my belly speaks of change. I create and throw spears from my mouth in cries of injustice. I have been a revolutionary long before I knew what revolution meant. We have been lied to and in, in bamboozled in a false nationality. We are Africans born in America when Africa is our home. Our ancestors were railroaded here to work and entertain forced in chains and at gunpoint. We are the colonial mode of production. 
what happened to African people is called the original sin. Look it up. Colonialism continues to push our, put their foot on our necks, rewrite our history and manipulate our future. Revolutionary fighters are born into existence in the struggle of to unleash our seeds from bondage. All melanated people are colonialized and suffers every day, everywhere we exist. Our strength is found on the backs of all our ancestors and freedom fighters that were attacked in Africa, their homes destroyed and their families missing, killed and stolen. We deal with these same atrocities today. Uhuru is freedom in Swahili. Uhuru is meant Ahuru is meaning of life to humanity. African liberation is world liberation. The revolution will come by any way means necessary. I fight to be free and to exercise my human right. Did you know free speech is under attack right here today? African liberation is against the law. I am a stolen African woman's baby born on stolen in the indigenous land. And my DNA, which you carry, is still under siege after 600 years. We will fight until Uhuru is won. Love and truth, your grandma. Okay. That's to my little babies. And my big babies, too. My big babies, too. Uh, this one, which is um about today and what's happening here here in tampa florida parents wait for their children it's called free protect free speech parents wait for their children's first word to expecting it could not expecting it to cost their lives communication is necessary to life we may not agree but they have the right to free speech. Free speech was written in Americans for American citizens to say what they could do, what they wanted, where they wanted, and any time they wanted. To agree or not, it was still the right. The First Amendment was written when Africans were slaves. We were not expected to use free speech because we were slaves not expecting to read, write, or expecting to even think. Many of our ancestors and heroes were silenced when exist, exerted, exercising their free speech right they thought they had. Colonialism is the invasion of an alien power, destroying a culture, their people, their land, and their future. This happened to to the continent of Africa over 600 years ago. It's, it continues to happen around the world today. African people, black people, melanated people are, are the world's mode of production. The world must build a black, the world was built on the backs of black ancestors and the world runs on us today. We are important to the life of our colonizers as long as we do as we're told. We can't talk about it or say a word. It makes them feel bad to mistreat humans, belong, humans belonging and human beings, I'm sorry, yet they love their pets. We have been trained by our colonizers through fear to be like them just to get along and to have peace and to save our lives. Free speech was not meant for the slave. There has been examples made to stop the truth. Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Patrice Lumumba, Fannie Lou Hamer, Harriet Tubman, Rosa Parks, Asada Shakur, just to name a few. But that ends right here and right now with the Uhuru Three. That is Omalia Yeshatella, Penny Hess, 
and Jesse Neville. No more killing or or, or place in prison to be for free speech. Just because they talk of what is happening to black and colonized people is not that are not being treated like human beings. Colonialism exists now around the world. They don't care about human rights. It's about human control and power. The FBI has attacked the only movement that legitimately works for freedom and liberation for African people around the world. The African people are free. When African people are free, so will the world be free. Free to live our own lives, our own labor, free our feed our families and educate our children and treat our neighbors like friends. The Uhura movement is being called, being charged with free speech. Omali Yeshitela has been speaking of the inhuman conditions of African, indigenous, Mexican, Palestinian, Cuban, and many other countries that have been under siege for over 60 years. The people are fighting back for their freedom from colonial rule. The government wants to silence the Uhuru movement like they did the Panthers. Free speech for everyone is under siege, regardless to who they are. The trial of the century and the fight for free speech is now in Tampa, Florida. You don't have to agree with me or anything I say, but that's my choice. And that's your choice to have free speech is because you can agree to disagree. Hands off Uhuru. Hands off Africa, protect free speech and drop the charges against the Uhuru three, Uhuru. And last but not least, I have one word to one few, th a few things to say to end. And this part is called truth. Today, the protection of free speech is on trial. Free speech for us and free speech for you, anyone that's breathing. It will change forever. We were taught to hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. If the state were to win, we will hear no truth, see no truth, and speak no truth. But victory, I said victory, is ours. Uhuru Sasa. Uhuru. Thank you.